What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Norman and today's analysis video is going to be about the Chelsea midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek. So after recovering from a long term injury, Ruben Loftus-Cheek is finally back in the Chelsea training and the fans can expect to see him on the pitch in the coming weeks. Ruben often waits for the striker to make a near post run before making himself available for a cutback. And this is one of his signature moves. So this is Ruben's signature move. He always waits for the striker to make a near post run to force the defense to fall back before making himself available for a cutback in front of the defense. This time Diego Costa makes the near post run to force the defense to fall back and Ruben once again makes himself available for the cutback by making a late run in the space. For any midfielder, it's really important to be aware of your surroundings. You should know the positions of your teammates and the opponents all the time. And Ruben is someone who has a high level of awareness and reading of the play. Ruben checked his shoulder before receiving the ball, saw the opponent coming to press him and he takes a touch in the space behind the opponent to easily avoid the press and start the attack for Chelsea. Eden Hazard was onside but the linesman raised the offside flag and Chelsea were denied a clear 1v1 chance against the goalkeeper. Chelsea are trying to play out from the back and they are inviting Liverpool to move up and press them high up the ground. Chelsea invited Liverpool to move up and press them high up the ground and that created a gap in the middle of the ground. Ruben once again read the situation and moved in the open space to receive the ball from Kepa. And once again, a nice first touch in the space behind Fabinho to avoid the press and start the attack for Chelsea. Since the departure of Eden Hazard, Chelsea have badly missed a playmaker. Someone who has the ability to open up the defense with his line breaking passes. And Ruben is someone who has the ability to break the lines with his vision and passing range. The winger drops deep and he pulls the fullback out of his position to open the space in the defense. Ruben read the play and he immediately played the pass to the fullback in the open space. One of the reasons why Chelsea's midfield struggle to score goals is due to their low frequency of shots. You are not going to score if you are not going to shoot. Jorginho, Kante and Kovacic don't even average one shot per game. Ruben on the other hand takes 1.3 shots per game and he has a decent shooting range as well which makes him a goal scoring threat.
Ruben is very flexible tactically and he can play at a number of different positions from right wing to left wing to a number 10 to a number 8. But his ideal playing position is number 8 even though he often drops in between the lines and plays more like a number 10. Ruben has the ability to find spaces in between the lines and play as a number 10 and his excellent dribbling also helps him to play as a number 8 and drive the ball forward for his team. Operating like a number 10, finding spaces in between the lines, linking with his front players and making runs in the box. Once again, operating like a number 10 and finding spaces in between the lines. Ruben on average completes 2.1 dribbles per game and only Kovacic completes more dribbles per game than Ruben at Chelsea. Ruben's ability to retain possession and drive the ball forward from deep is something that Chelsea are badly missing at the moment. Ruben is 6 feet 2 inches tall, which makes him a real aerial threat, and his aerial strength can help Chelsea on both ends of the ground. Ruben Loftus Chic won 21 aerial duels in the league last season, which was more than any other Chelsea midfielder, even when he played a lot less than the others. Defensive contribution is a very important part of a number 8's gameplay. Last season, Ruben had the best tackle success rate, 67%, out of all the Chelsea midfielders. Chelsea's issue this season has been their finishing and lack of goals from the midfield. Ruben can definitely help Chelsea, but the fans need to show some patience as it will take Ruben some time to finally get back to his best. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.